The time now is 7.57, and as we continue to track Hurricane Delta and get you prepared, something we've heard a lot this week is hurricane fatigue and the importance of not letting that sit in. We've had a busy season, but every storm, it's important to remember to stay prepared. Joining us live right now, we've got Stephanie Wagner with the American Red Cross here in Baton Rouge. Stephanie, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us, and you've got a whole spread there. I'll just turn it over to you. This is looking like a storm for at least in our area. We're going to see a lot of wind impacts. What's most important that folks have in their emergency kits? Absolutely. So we want to make sure folks have a safe way to sustain in their household or should they be asked to evacuate for any kind of reason. So as far as wind is concerned, that comes with a loss of power very frequently. So you want to have a way to light your home, to have a flashlight, not using anything with any kind of open candle because the last thing we want is to deal with a fire hazard. You also want to make sure that you're using generators in the safest possible way according to the manufacturer's instructions in an outside well-ventilated area on a flat piece of ground and in an area that is completely dry. Never use a generator inside your home. And as far as the rest of your planning is concerned, you should have two types of kits. One that can sustain your family for two weeks, should you be in your home for that kind of duration and without power perhaps. And then one that you can take that will sustain your family for three days if you do need to evacuate or leave your home for any type of reason. And preparedness doesn't have to be complicated. You can really do it with all the things that you have at your disposal at the house. And you wanna make a plan, Discuss that plan with your family and your friends, and you want to stay informed, having at least two ways to receive warnings, one that does not rely on any kind of electricity and power, to make sure you're getting the watches, warnings, advisories, information from officials, and making sure that you are staying safe should you have to leave your community for any period of time. Absolutely, and we know that you guys have resources for not only uh, people here in the capital city, but even folks from southwest Louisiana who actually had to evacuate here to Baton Rouge who are still dealing with uh, now the impact of two storms at once. We've got more resources from the American Red Cross. We'll be sure to post on our website, brproud.com. Stephanie, thanks for being here with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, still ahead.